guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be testing out brand new makeup. There's a bunch of new stuff that just recently came out, so I thought this would be a fun video to film, so I really hope you guys like this. And another thing before I get started, I just wanted to say that I have been praying every single day for every single person down in Texas. My whole heart goes out to all of you, and I'm just completely heartbroken seeing all these pictures and videos of the devastation that's happening in Houston. Leave a comment down below or leave a link down below of the foundation that you think that I should be donating to, which one is the best, whether it's for animals, people, anything, I'll donate to whatever you guys think is best. So I'm just gonna get into the video now and I do wanna say that it was a little bit of a bumpy ride. I had some issues with a few things in here, which you guys will definitely see. And I also got a new microphone today. So this is my very first time using it and I had some issues with it as well. On my shirt and this thing keeps like flipping upside down and going underneath like my boot boobs basically. So anyways, if you guys want to see my first impressions and little reviews on all these brand new products, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be testing out today is the brand new Touch in Soul no pore blem primer this is supposed to be smoothing and pore covering and a top secret for perfect makeup. It feels really like slippery and silky. It definitely made the pores on the apples of my cheeks look a little bit smaller. Now I don't know how this is gonna hold up with my oily skin. I have pretty oily skin in my T-zone and then my cheeks tend to get a little bit drier. So I usually like to use a mattifying primer in my T-zone just because I do get pretty oily. So I'm not sure how this is gonna hold up but I will definitely update you guys on that and see how it holds up with my oily skin. Now the foundation I'm using is the brand new Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. This is a matte foundation. I don't have the box for it anymore, so I'm gonna look up on their website what the claims for it were. Let me check. Okay, so it says it is full coverage. The finish is matte. And it says it's an ultra weightless full coverage foundation with an oil-free, silicone-free formula that lets the skin breathe. It says it's supposed to instantly minimize the appearance of pores and imperfections using blurring microspheres which are tiny powder filled spheres that diffuse the light to leave a flawless soft focus effect. Ooh, this color looks really orange. The shade I have is Golden Sand. Yeah, that's very yellow for my skin tone. It kind of sucks um, ordering foundations online because it's really hard to see if it's gonna match your skin tone. This is very yellow. I mean, it kind of matches my body. Well, it's definitely full coverage. I mean, you guys can see it covered up all of my redness. Okay, well, major fail on the shade that I picked. Uh, it definitely does not have a matte finish. You guys can see on my face how shiny it is. I don't know if that's the primer that's making it do that because the primer didn't make my skin look matte at all. But yeah, definitely does not have a matte finish. Okay, now I'm gonna move on and do some cream contouring, but I think I'm only gonna do half of my face with cream contour just because I also have the KKW Beauty Powder Contour Kit. So I wanna see how that works on its own without the cream contour, but I'm gonna be using the brand new Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Y10 brush, and I'm first gonna start with the lightest shade in here, so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of it. It's super, super easy to blend. Okay, I really like that. I just used the lightest shade in the kit and I don't think I wanna go any darker. But yeah, I definitely like this shade. I love how easy it is to blend out. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this middle shade just to see the color difference. Yeah, I definitely like this. It is so easy to blend out. Since I don't have a new concealer, I'm just gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium Honey. Now to set my concealer, and I think I might set my whole face with this. This is the Urban Decay Velvetizer Mix-In Medium. This is a matte translucent powder, basically, so you can mix this into your foundation. Let's say you have like a dewy foundation that you love, but sometimes you just wanna be matte. You can mix this powder into your foundation and it will make it matte. So I'm gonna just dip my beauty blender into the powder. This is how I always set my under eyes. I'll press it in underneath my eyes. Ooh, that made it look really, really soft. It makes my skin, ooh, I got some in my mouth. That didn't taste very good. 
Okay, well, so far I really like this. It made my skin look super matte. I cannot wait to mix this powder in with my liquid foundation, see how that works. I'm super excited to try that out. I'm gonna move on to my eyeshadow now and then come back to my face and like contour, bronze up, and highlight. So I have three eyeshadow palettes that I wanna try. I have the Marc Jacobs Scandalust palette. And then I have the Dose of Colors Katie and Desi collaboration. This packaging is beautiful, by the way. It is so pretty. I've swatched these with my fingers, but I have not tried them on my lids yet. And then we have the new Narcissist Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. The first palette I'm gonna be using is the Narcissist Palette, and I'm gonna take this shade right here, use that as a transition shade, and this is a Sigma E35 brush. My eyelids are already primed. I primed them with the MAC Soft Over Paint Pot. Okay, so these aren't super pigmented. I'm like dipping my brush in here pretty hard. Okay, let's try a different shade. I'm gonna try the shade right next to it. It's so just a little bit of a deeper kind of reddish brown. This one definitely looks way more pigmented. Oh yeah, this one's super pigmented. Well, I definitely should not have picked up that much on my brush. I was just kind of expecting it to be not very pigmented because the first shade wasn't. Okay, so definitely a little bit of inconsistency so far in this palette. This shade is way, way more pigmented than the first shade that I used. That's okay, not saying that these shadows are bad, I just was not expecting this one to be as pigmented as it was. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a smaller, more dense brush and then I'm gonna use this really deep brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna pick up a little tiny bit, tap off the extra. And by the way, this is a Sigma E38 brush. Yeah, they're definitely a little bit difficult to blend out, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just kind of having to work a little bit harder and that might be because I used so much on my brush the first time. So I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna start with my lid shade. I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collaboration and I wanna use one of these two shades but I don't know which one I wanna use yet. That one is Harpoon and then this one is Turbo Sun. I think I wanna go with Turbo Sun. So I'm taking my MAC 242 brush, spraying it with setting spray and then I'm just gonna pack it on. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So I'm gonna use the back of this brush. It's not wet at all, but I'm just gonna use it dry just so you guys can see what it looks like without setting spray. Yeah, big difference. So I think this is one that you have to use wet. I'm gonna use this shade from the Marc Jacobs palette and then just go right into the crease. Yep, that's exactly what it needed. I'm also gonna be using the color Suze from here. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. What? All right, I just popped some lashes on and I used the Salon Perfect number 614. I'm gonna finish off my lower lash line. I'm not gonna use the NARS palette again. I'm using the darkest shade in here, it's this really, really deep, dark brown. Almost has kind of like a purple tint to it. And I'm packing this on my lower lash line. Then taking a Morphe M506 and using the pink shade in here that I used in my crease. Okay, now moving back to the face. So I'm gonna use the KKW Beauty Powder Contour Kit. Oh my God, I forgot the brush. Okay guys, I cannot find that brush anywhere, but I still really wanna use this, so I hope you guys don't mind, but I am gonna be using just one of my regular brushes. If you want me to, I'm, I can definitely do another video using this with that brush, just show you guys how that brush works. I'm so sorry, I feel so bad. Also, another thing, my microphone, so it's pinned to my shirt, it keeps turning down and like flipping underneath my shirt, so I'm praying that it's not like cutting off my voice because it's like underneath my shirt. Okay, moving on. So I'm gonna start with the bronzing shade. Now the shade does look very orange. A lot of people have been saying they don't like how warm it looks, how orange it is, but I love warm bronzer. Oh, I don't have my bronzing brush up here either. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it today. I'm gonna use this bronzer shade first and just kind of warm up my face. Mm, such a pretty color. What I was saying is I love warm bronzers. I use MAC Gimme Sun and MAC Sun Power all the time, like literally every single day. 
So I actually love the shade of this bronzer. It is not patchy at all. It blended out so easy. Move to the contour shade and I'm using an Anastasia A19 brush. The brush that I was just using was a Morphe Y5 brush. It still actually kind of looks pretty warm for how cool it looks in the pan. Again, blending out so easy. I really like this, you guys. And honestly, I think I suck at contouring. I don't think I'm good at contouring at all. And I feel like it's my face shape because when I do other people's makeup, I can contour them super good. I feel like eyeshadow is like my thing. I don't know. I just still haven't gotten the hang of contouring yet, which I don't know how because I've been doing makeup for years. But this contour kit is so nice. It just honestly blends out so easy and I love the shades. I know so many people really don't like how warm they are, but I love the warmth of them. And these pans are huge. So I'm gonna be trying the new Makeup Forever blushes. I only got one blush and this is the shade B302. I'm using a Sigma F10. So pretty, I love this. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty, or Huda Beauty, I hope I'm saying that right. Summer Highlight Pout, this is limited edition. But I swatched these ones, and I'm gonna use, this is a cream, and the rest are powders. I'm using my Beauty Blender to pick it up. Super yellow, but it's really pretty, actually. It looks like it would be more like neon. It looks more neon in the pan. But then when it goes on, it looks a lot more gold. So the purple one is Mykonos, this one is Malibu, and then this one is Co Copacabana. I think I'm gonna do this one just because it looks super fun. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. It's not like very blinding at all, but it just gives a very pretty glow. I don't know if I wanna use these highlights or the highlights from the new NARS palette. I'll swatch these for you. I really like this one, the darkest one, and the lightest one. Okay, what I'm gonna do is use the lightest shade on my brow bone. This middle one right here on my cheekbone. Ooh. It's kind of bringing out a little bit of my texture, if you guys can see that like right here and then up here. It is kind of bringing out some of my texture. Honestly, that just happens. I have texture on my face and it's pretty rare for me to find highlighters that don't enhance my texture. Okay, then I'm gonna take one of these shades, swatch them. Okay, they're really pretty shades, but they're not as like metallic as the NARS ones. Okay, so I'm gonna take the lighter, like more banana shade and then put this on my nose. Oh wow, that's actually like really blending. I was not expecting that with how they were swatching. They kind of looked like they were gonna be a little bit more like, I don't know, subtle, but that's, that is blinding. Okay, so these are the brand new NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. This is in the shade American Woman. I have two other shades that I have tried and I really like these liquid lipsticks, but I've never tried this shade. Probably not gonna match at all because this looks pretty pink. Oh yeah, not gonna match at all. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do is set my face with the new Milk Makeup Blur Spray. This is supposed to kind of like shrink your pores, I guess, and it's also a matte sitting spray. Yeah, it's supposed to like shrink your pores and make your face look super soft. Ooh, a lot comes out when you spray it. It smells really minty. It smells like toothpaste. Weird. The apples on my cheeks definitely look a lot smoother than they normally do, but I feel like that is because of this primer because it did make my cheeks look really soft before I put makeup on. Setting sprays are hard for me because I feel like I have to try them out a bunch of times before I really can see what they're doing. And then another thing is that my the foundation on my nose is kind of starting to separate a little bit, like right here and right here. I'm pretty sure I know exactly why that's happening and that is because this foundation said that it was free of silicone and I'm almost positive this has silicone in it. It doesn't say on the bottle and I couldn't find it online, but I'm almost positive usually any pore fillers do have silicone bases in them and you're not supposed to mix a water-based foundation with a silicone-based primer because silicone and water separate from each other. So I'm pretty sure that's why that's happening on my nose. So next time I use this foundation, I'm not gonna be using this primer. I'm gonna try something else. The setting powder I really liked, but I feel like I am not really looking matte anymore. I don't know, is it just me? 
feel like I looked a lot more matte before. Like my forehead is looking shiny already. So I don't know what the hell is going on right now. <laughs> yeah, I definitely look really shiny right now. Even though I used all mattifying products, this is really strange. I really do like this. I feel like it made my face look really, really soft and it also feels very soft. The NARS eyeshadow palette, you guys did see that it was a little bit hard for me to blend out. I don't know if it was just those colors in the palette or if they're all like that, so I will be trying that again as well. And then one wasn't very pigmented at all and the next one was super pigmented, so it was kind of inconsistent. The Dose of Colors eyeshadow, I love this shade so much. It is very, very pigmented. The Marc Jacobs palette blended out like a dream. Every shade that I used from here, which I guess was only two shades, but they blended out very, very easily. This one in my crease was so smooth and went on just like perfectly and blended out really smoothly. I loved the Makeup Forever blush. Loved the KKW contour kit. I feel like the shades were very pretty. I really like the Kat Von D Shade and Light Cream Contour Kit. They blended out really easy as well. The Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty highlight palette was not as blinding as I expected it to be, but it was still really pretty. I was kind of expecting it to be like super bam in your face highlight, but it really wasn't on me, which isn't a big deal because sometimes I do like more of a natural highlight, even though these are not natural colors. What else, am I missing something? The liquid lipsticks, I love this formula. I've already used them before, so this wasn't like my first time using the formula, but the color is pretty. I just don't know if I would wear it again with this eye makeup. But yeah, so that was my little review on everything. I really hope you guys like this video. I love doing these videos. I think they're really fun to do and watch. So I hope you guys do too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.